Okay, so now that we understand a little bit just about the basics of setting up some design rules, let's go ahead and connect some data from a spreadsheet into this layer. Let's step out of After Effects just for a little bit, head on over to our Google Drive that has our basic spreadsheet that we're gonna use for this example. You can see we have some columns here. We have a title, caption one, caption two, album cover, which are references to files on our network drive and some hex values that reference colors. So what we wanna do here is we wanna connect all the data in the title column to the layer that we created here in our composition. So to do that, we go to our layer and we give it a name that's useful for us. And we need to make sure that the layer name matches the column header name for the data that we want. So this column header has a label of title. So we go back into AE and we make sure that this layer is called title, okay? The next step is to actually log in to our Google Drive account. So we go to the Templator main panel and we click the Google button. And what this is gonna do is bring up our Google Spreadsheet setup dialog. If we click on sign in, we are presented with a permission screen from Google asking if it's okay that Templator access the Google Drive that we want to log in as. So I'm gonna go ahead and click accept. So when I click accept, I get this authorization code. And this authorization code is then copied into my clipboard. So I, you know, I copy this into memory. I go back into AE. And in this field here, I right click and I hit paste. So then I click authorize. And what's gonna happen here is it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's gonna tell me who I'm logged in on in as, and I'm going to see all of the spreadsheets that I have access to are gonna be listed here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click on this one, and you'll see that it has this sub node called albums. Well, that refers to the worksheet name that this spreadsheet has. So every, you know, you can have more than one worksheet in a spreadsheet. And so if I name this something else, that's what would appear here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one and click okay. So now that this uh, Google spreadsheet is linked and I see that the layer name is title and the column header is title and I click on, um, instead of preview as current state, I click on next row and I hit preview. What you're gonna see is every time I click preview, you're gonna see the data that comes in from that spreadsheet. So now it kind of makes sense what, when you are thinking about how these rules apply to this layer. So every time I hit preview, you can really see how those rules affect the layer. So for example, this one says manage output files. Um, so we're right at row 11. So you can see here, Templator is telling me that it finished previewing row 11. If I click next, um, preview next row, and this is gonna go to row 12, and this says prefix output file name. So that's that one right there. So right here, let's go ahead and just change this on the fly to, um, this is a tutorial. And when I do preview next, it's gonna say this is a tutorial. So it's kind of nice that the, the Google spreadsheet is directly feeding its data right into the composition.